Okay, now for the last question on the paper, question number 28, which is about simultaneous equations, but it's actually something kind of new, um, as in the syllabus uh, previously we would never have found a quadratic equation and a linear equation um, being asked to solve simultaneously. Okay, this particular one is not such a problem, because if you want to solve these simultaneously, um, you can use some sort of substitution because we know that 5x plus 4x minus 19 equals y and we know that 4x plus 1 equals y so basically um, that's when they're equal to, to each other 5x squared plus 4x minus 19 is equal to 4x plus 1 and another way they could word this question they could tell you to find the points at which this line and this curve intersect so they intersect where they're equal to each other. So if they're both in terms of y, you can make them, in, you can equate them to each other and then solve. So we can solve this equation now. Um, it looks like it's going to be a quadratic type of equation. So we bring everything to one side of the equation. So it says equals zero. So you've got five x squared on this side already. Four x minus four x is zero, so that, that cancels out. And minus 19 minus one is minus 20. And then we can, uh, actually it's an equation, so we can divide both sides of the equation by 5 to get rid of the common factor. So we've got x squared minus 4 equals 0. Now we can factorize and solve this. Now this is a difference of squares. You have x plus 2 and x minus 2 equals 0. So the two x values are x equals minus 2 and x equals plus 2. So now we have to find the y values um, as well. So don't just stop there. Um, Thankfully, they got the answer space, so in case you forget, you're going to remember when you see this. So when x equals 2, when x equals 2, we've got to find what y is now. We could find y by substituting x equals 2 in the first or the second equation, but of course, the second equation looks much easier. So you want to make your life easy. 4 times 2 plus 1, that's 8 plus 1, which is 9. So when x equals 2, y equals 9. And when x equals negative 2 y equals 4 times negative 2 plus 1 which is um, minus 8 negative 8 plus 1 which is negative 7 so 2 negative 7 and negative 2 are the other pair of uh, solutions so you got x and 9 uh, sorry 2 and 9 x equals 2 y equals 9 and x equals minus 2 and y equals uh, negative 7 and there we have the answer to that question and we have done the paper i think Next page is blank, yes, okay. So we have finished uh, question number 28 and answered the whole paper. Thank you for watching. All the other questions on this paper will be found in the playlist, which is linked in the description box below. And, um, you know, as I mentioned, I did this paper and I answered some questions in maybe a bit more detail than that is necessary, but that's to help those students who might be struggling or need some extra explanation to help them so that's the reason I did that and I did every question separately on purpose um, in order that um, I can then save them separately into different playlists topic by topic as well as one playlist for the whole paper um, and you can skip to whatever question you need to in that in those playlists okay, so thank you for watching and keep your uh, eyes peeled for the paper four